the Roman setting of the batch one, focusing on test solutions for uh, MPPE related uh, interfaces. Uh, so, batch one provides a uh, whole set of test equipment for uh, uh, MPPE by vertical solutions, camera, display, as well as DIGRA. And certainly, we are looking at other protocols that may come up out of the, the MPPE. Uh, what I'm showing here is uh, the different solutions that Agilent provides for, for uh, maybe DeFi. Uh, so it, uh, Agilent provides uh, a whole set of equipment, basically uh, testing at the physical layer, uh, transmitter, uh, as well as receiver with different solutions. Uh, then there is also uh, a tool set available for protocol layers, basically can look at packets, look at different bits in, uh, inside of packets. Uh, and decode the uh, CSI or DSI protocol, actually show CRC errors and uh, things like that. Um, and on top of that, uh, there, there are tools which extract images for, uh, out of the trace or also stimulate images. Basically, you can use uh, whatever image you, you want and convert it into uh, uh, CSI traffic and uh, run it with this uh, stimulus box. Uh, and I'll just uh, see this image show up at, uh, in a display, for example. <laughs> so in, in the next page, is, uh, I'm just having bitmaps of different solutions. This is a whole full um, receiver test solution, receiver and transmitter test solution. So there's a compliance software available, which uh, runs in an automated way, or, or uh, you can also run it manually. <clears throat> So basically, the uh, uh, stimulus, the DeFi stimulus is quite complex to create. You need to, to have low power as, as well as, as high speed. So it's uh, it's done by combining different channels of of, uh, of a bird caster, basically. <coughs> uh, okay. So this uh, shows the test automation software which runs this uh, different uh, equipment and, uh, so you can see, see different tests which, uh, which are uh, run in an automated way. Uh, coming to the scope application, so the oscilloscope uh, as you can see here is, is perfectly able to uh, decode any DSI traffic that is happening on, on the link and decode it in a way so you can uh, see what kind of packets are, are going across the link. Uh, so this would also recognize any CRC or something like that. Uh, and also what, what is really essential, you can, you can search within a, a scope trace for certain packets basically. So that's, uh, that's quite convenient actually. Also you can see the, the, the blue packets are uh, shown in, in blue also. So it's, it's really uh, helpful to, to analyze the, the, the trace of the, the oscilloscope. <coughs> Additionally, there's a transmitter test compliance application. So uh, the, uh, this runs on, on the oscilloscope and you can choose your uh, tests you want to run and uh, you can run them and go, uh, the scope will, gi will give you a pass-fail uh, information in that case. <coughs> Okay, so these uh, were the slides basically focusing on uh, on the DeFi, the CSI, DSI test. Additionally, uh, well, this just shows how uh, channels are uh, combined with, with the power, actually. But what I wanted to point out is uh, there's also a protocol test solution for DDRF available from Agilent, and this show, uh, just shows a bitmap. So it's, it's a combination of exerciser, so you can create traffic, uh, and you can also analyze traffic, uh, which is not shown in, in the, in the uh, slideshow, but I have the GUI showing, um, showing this, basically. So I need to switch over to the, to the logic analyzer GUI. Yeah, basically. <coughs> what, what you see here is traffic that has been created um, by the exerciser. Basically, the exerciser is transferring an LTE waveform, LTE uh, 10 megahertz uh, waveform, and uh, the logic analyzer is extracting IQ data out of these packets, basically. And it, uh, So we can look at the at the packets that have been sent. So these are DJI packets, and the logic analyzer software extracts 
uh, I and Q data out of the packets, and we can view those uh, in an analog type of view. But the most interesting really is that you can uh, get that data out of the logic analyzer and analyze it with a, with a vector signal analyzer, basically, and uh, demodulate the signal and look at correct constellation. So that way you can basically compare what you receive at the antenna side with uh, what you see at the DGF side.